So, I've just been told by the neighbors around Edgar Lungu's uh, house, I've been told by the neighbors around Edgar Lungu's house that um, there are police officers that have surrounded his house and they are fighting with the security personnel who are, who are on the gate. They want to go in. They want to go in. Now, whatever the case, the first point is that Edgar Lungu has immunity. That is the first point. Edgar Lungu has immunity. So why should the police go and start fighting with the security personnel by the gate to access the house? Why? Why? When I say this is dictatorship, this is real dictatorship. He's a former president. He has immunity. How do they at dawn, at dawn, surround the house and want to get access? What do they want? What do they want? Eh? Without notice. No notice. They just come, surround the house, start fighting with the security personnel so that they can access. What do they want? I'm telling you, this is a dictatorship. We are living in a dictatorship. And I've been telling you people that one soon we will start disappearing. We will start dying. Eh? We will start dying. What are they doing there? What are they doing? Why are the police around? Why? I, for one, I'm telling you, this is my country. And I will stand for what is right. I will protect the democracy that we have. I will protect our constitution and I'm going to Edgar Lungu right now. I am not scared. If they have to kill me, let them kill me. Let them kill me. At least this country will, will remember that there was a person that stood for justice, that stood for the democracy of this country. Haka Inde Ichinema is a dictator. This is proper dictatorship. Why go to Edgar Lungu's house? Why? Why really? What what has he done? What is it? Eh? Why not? Uh, I mean, summon him or whatever. But all that before all that, he has immunity. What has Edgar Lungu done? H H. This is what he has been saying. Akeka la pesa. Eh? Nkamuleka. Eh? Kutumpa. This is exactly. This is what he meant. This is what he meant when he was saying akeka la pesa. Akeka la pesa. This is what he meant. He's so scared of Edgar Lungu and he wants to finish him. Why HH Mwitwipaila Edgar Lungu? Eh? Leave him alone. Power is temporal. Power is temporal. Power is temporal. Eh? You can't be treating us like this. We, can't, you, we are human beings. When Zambians voted for you, they didn't say we have voted for you now we have given you the country you can do whatever you want you can kill people like cows in your farm no you can't you can't this is unacceptable this is unacceptable me i'm going there i'm going to edgar Lungu's house i know you lock me up if it is an opportunity for you to kill me here is an opportunity i'm going to edgar Lungu's house i'm going to die for what is right i'm going to die for what is right i'm going to die for my country it's unacceptable i'm going there i'm going i'll go live when i'm there let me let me drive now first let me drive i'll go live when i'm there so we are at the resident of the former head of state, President Edgar Chagualungu. The police came early in the morning. They wanted to access the house. Um, apparently, they want, to search, um, they want to search the house. When the lawyers came, the lawyers have advised that the police cannot access the former head of state's house because he still has immunity, still enjoys immunity. But the other thing which is very important is that they are scared that they might plant something in the house which they can later use to remove his immunity. So this is seen as a plot, you know, to plant something to, in, to implicate the former head of state and then later on accuse him 
of whatever crimes and remove his immunity. So this is where the standoff is. However, the police are insisting they are communicating with some officers uh, from, from wherever they are communicating, senior police officers, and they are insisting that they should access the house. The lawyers are saying from the legal point of view, you cannot search a house of a former president since he still enjoys immunity. They have even told them that whatever you want, you can call us and we can, we can bring it, but they don't want it. So this is the problem that is there. Hey. So this is what is happening. Cadres are here. We have uh, a number of uh, MPs, former ministers are here. Even the leader, even the leader of opposition, the leader of opposition is also here, together with other MPs and other PFA leaders. Mamdalawa GPM Okovali, former defense minister, is also here. So, just to emphasize the point, because some of you may be feeding, may be feeding, uh, you know, the fake narrative that they are trying to spread. They are trying to cover up this uh, illegal uh, access to Edgar Lungu's house. I've seen on social media some people are saying, no. The, how, the, the car which was used uh, to come and attack my house is at Edgar Lungu's house. It is not true. They are just covering up the failed assassination attempt on my life. If they are a real government, that follows the law. They are supposed to do the investigation and bring out those people. The fact is, those people were not normal criminals. They were not normal criminals. Those were sent to come and assassinate me. And here, the mission is for them to plant something in the house. They plant something in the house and then later on, go to parliament and say, we want to remove his immunity. Because if it was not that, the best that they should have done is to start with parliament, remove the immunity, and then they come and, uh, they come and search his house. That is just a normal procedure. You cannot search the house of a former president who still has immunity. It can't happen. It is illegal. It is dictatorship. But Baaka in the Ichirema, all this is okay for him. Whilst the economy of the country is being run down further, when he came in, he said, no, I want to, I want to fix things. But he has failed to fix things. Now he's fixing, he's fixing innocent people. He even wants to start killing innocent people. Like that assassination attempt on my house. You can say whatever you want. Where can I hire those people with those automatic rifles? Those rifles are not used by ordinary, uh, even ordinary police officers, even ordinary soldiers. They don't use that. Now they want to cover up to say no because uh, they, are, they are looking for that, for that vehicle here. It is not true. They want to implicate Edgar Lungu. That's what they want. And as people who defend the law, people who stand for justice, that's why we are here. I'm here to defend democracy. I'm here to defend justice. Don't be cheated. These police officers are not legally here. Whoever magistrate, whoever judicial officer that signed, who could have signed the warrant, he did it. He did it wrongly. It can't be. It can't be. You can't. How can you search it? It is like a diplomat's house. It's like a diplomatic house. How can you access a diplomatic house? You can't. This is unacceptable. It's dictatorship. I'll keep on updating you what's going on. But so far, the police are here. I don't know if they are waiting for more people to come to mobilize themselves and access the house. But I can assure you that there are so many people. And what will happen here, it will be bloodshed. Bloodshed is going to happen here because there are too many people. There are too many people. Whatever they want, they can summon. They can summon the lawyers and interact with them. Not what they are doing. It's illegal. For now, let me go.